Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. Backstage at 2000 Trees, look who has joined us from tonight's headline is Depp It's James and Matt. How are you guys? Very well. Yeah, Very good. well. Good, thank you. Yeah, um, good to see you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Good, considering we woke up next to a Yeah, we played in a bingo hall in Derby full of UKIP supporters last night, so that was... <laughs> As you do, just your average Friday night, like, really. It, it was mental. Okay. You walk in, we walked in, and you could smell the 1970s. Okay, wow. Very much. Everything was covered in cobwebs. It was fascinating. A little sensory too. time machine going yeah, on. It was, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a bingo hall. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, today's good. Uh, guys, it's really nice to see you, and I want to talk to you more about the album, really. Last time we kind of chatted was when it was just kind of coming yeah. out and everything. Yeah. Now it's a little bit in the rear view. How are you looking back on it and everything? It's been a big era for you, this guy. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's been interesting. It's been quite a weird cycle because normally, like, we release a record and then tour and then you do the general spiel every single time. This time we released it in, like, August. festival season. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we, like, released our record and didn't play any shows for, like, three months. And it was, I don't know, it was kind of, it felt really stop starty. It was, it was a really bizarre campaign. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's done a lot of cool stuff for us. Like, we picked up a lot in Germany so like the ticket sales and stuff have increased there I don't know it's just it's been cool but I don't know if I would again like, like everything we've seemed to have done it's just been different yeah again um, yeah like the, the way we did all of it the writing the recording and seemingly the touring now is just different from how we've experienced band life before which is exciting though and I remember you said it like is, at the time is. when it was coming out you know it, it, it was exciting it certainly paid off like we can see that already we'll mm. talk more about the kind of bigger shows and stuff that you've been doing which is awesome but like it's the fact that you did think you were taking a risk on this. Yeah. Do you think it's paid off? I would say it has, but I want to know what you guys think. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'd, I'd say so. I would say, like, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's... It's kind of done what I didn't want it to do. Okay. I wanted it to go, like, either one of two ways. And I think it's kind of just sort of coasted again. Okay. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't flip in a massive way and make us like successful in other territories to, to be honest one of the, one of the main things that has been mad about it is that people have just taken to it mm. as well like that that's what we really weren't that, yeah, necessarily expecting to. yeah that's that was the most ex um surprising thing for us was that not not as many people hated it as we thought they would we thought people would be like i probably said to you at the time yeah, I, like, did, yeah. I was really scared that people would because it's, it's kind of different I was, I was i thought because there's like a negative or like a negative connotations attached to rock bands that release more poppy sounding music, I guess. And people always like sort of look down on it. So I was expecting everyone to kind of just be like, nah. But that, that, that did not like happen. It. That did not it, happen. Yeah, no, no, and no, we, no, but we, we we really weren't expecting that. Like I, yeah. I got asked a question earlier about like um, how was the backlash and response, and it was just so much more positive than we ever expected. Yeah. And, yeah. Which, yeah, I mean, I, I, I've, I actually have nothing negative to say, really, because the people were kind enough to, or rather open enough to, like, yeah. sort of not just judge it on first listen. They were actually, like, listen to give it a bit of time of day and, like, put just read into the lyrics and actually realise that it's not that different to the stuff we've done before. It's not. No, yeah. it's still very you guys. Uh, yeah. so, Song-wise, it's almost exactly the same. We're just using it's slightly instru different medium via instrumentation to Absolutely. make things sound slightly more different no 100 percent, man and th that was very very true especially with brixton which i do want to touch on because what, what a huge moment for you guys that was it was such a such a huge show but what was yeah. very interesting and kind of telling about the crowd was lots of people who've been there for a long time and they were celebrating that huge moment for you guys loads of people who just yeah. come in on this album which is a yeah, really nice man. mix of yeah. balance to see in there yeah that's actually i should have said that in a previous question that is what we certainly noticed that at Brixton, but we did a tour earlier this year, and particularly in Europe, or mainland Europe, we noticed a lot of people that we'd never seen before, and like people who were screaming along to the new songs but didn't really know the old songs. So I was like, that's never really happened to us before on a record. Like we've accumulated various people. Yeah, but we've done we've done very well at keeping people in. Yeah. Like like um like I, I'll never forget when we did Old Souls. Our goal was to get people's dads to like. <laughs> The, like people who brought their kids to a show it was yeah, like that and it worked and we did it and like we just sort of managed to do that again and it is a totally different demographic like we've noticed much more There's like way more girls and lads and like, like and like laddie lads like, laddie like, lads like, turning up like, alright like people that I wouldn't hang around with at school <laughs> <laughs> because they would have probably beat me up for having a haircut that didn't 
<laughs> but they now love it. You I had some, had some bad haircuts. You had some awful fun. But yeah, we've noticed a lot more like laddie lads and a lot more girls, and it's, it's weird that it can sort of. Because I've always viewed our band as a very like alternative and very sort of whatever the opposite of mainstream is. Right. Yeah. But I guess. I guess some people have like come in from from other areas and, and I think I think it's true to say across all music now really you see that with loads and loads of bands particularly this era but like in the new era people don't care so much about genre anymore people yeah. could go off and see loads of different things but yeah it was particularly telling at Brixton and by the way just what a huge moment for you guys I mean talk to me about that particular I mean it seemed like quite an emotional night really in a lot of ways and it was um so normally I do drink quite a lot before I go on stage but that that night I drank maybe one drink yeah, throughout we, the whole day we, we were Nervous. Pretty sensible with it, and as a result, quite nervous. Yeah. yeah. But, um, In hindsight, I probably should have just relaxed and been normal. It was a one-off show as well, and but when it's like that, like you sort of, I mean, you sort of talk yourself through it when you're on tour, and you're like, look, it's all right if I've had a bad one tonight because there's tomorrow, and the like we'll keep doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, is, there isn't it the tomorrow, one. and it is categorically the biggest show we've done headlining, and so. Um, yeah, so we wanted to be good, and so you don't relax quite the same. Um, and it was—it was just mad. It, it, it was incredibly humbling, and just—but then also, like, it felt right. It felt like that's the sort of stage we should be on. Yeah. Okay. To be honest, um, yeah. Well, hence the confidence to then release it as the live record as well. Like, you guys must be incredibly pleased that it went. It's also surely. a live record. Can yeah. I point out? Y- yeah. A live record. We um. No overdubs. No overdubs. We, I don't know. Like for me, it was a weird one because. I'm not that good with like big crowds and big big stages, so it was a bit. And because I was completely sober, I was just overthinking everything whilst I was singing. I've messed up a couple of lyrics and stuff, and like, because I was just thinking too much. I think maybe if I'd have just relaxed. Also, we, we played for so long. Played like two <laughs> it hours. It was a we long night. So long. I walked off and I thought I'd have fucking crick in my back. It was mental. Like, I slipped a disc or some shit from how long Les Paul for an hour and 45 minutes. Mental. Is this, is this a we all show in our ages now? Like, oh, guys. Man, I've realised that recently. I'm 25, back's giving up. Well, <laughs> You're still so, so young. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but no, it was, ama- it was an amazing night. And it was, for me, it's more retrospective because in the moment I didn't really take it because I was trying to concentrate on like not messing up so I didn't really I didn't have I wasn't in the right mindset to like really take in the atmosphere and stuff but when I like watch videos back or listen to it it really it's so retrospective and it was amazing like yeah cements it as the moment it was no it was a huge huge (laughs) night for you guys uh let's talk about moving forward then like I say a lot of risks taken on this last record I would say they paid off I think you definitely brought this new audience which is fantastic how does that feed into the next stages of Death of Valor then you thinking about what comes next new music wise um (laughs) Right. We should be. <laughs> right, right. It, 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 this is what I'd say. Okay, here so we go. Every t- Strap in, everybody. <laughs> every time we come around to like thinking about writing new music and getting back in the studio, whatever, um, we'll, we'll have an interview and someone will ask us how we think it's going to go. And we say, categorically, it's going to be one way or the other. And it's always the fucking opposite of that. Right, okay. So I, I, I don't think we're trying to like go down one avenue too much yet because we haven't really got anything like we okay. have we haven't got an idea yet of where we want to go we never really do though no and, it, and then just <coughs> we just start and writing it and it's it, sounding it, the opposite of yeah. what we thought it sounds would sound. how yeah. it sounds yeah. but, um, I would never have guessed that we would release a poppy sounding record never. no no and um, but that, that but that's just the natural way that it happens and I, I think we're just gonna I mean we are lucky enough to have fans that are as trusting open minded as well. and as open minded as they are and so yeah, I think we're just going to see, try and get together and see what happens. Yeah. And, um, Any kind of timeline? Like, like, are you thinking before the end of the year might try and work up some stuff? Yeah, and, uh, yeah but, like, I, I, I want to get together with this boy um, nice. and uh, get writing some stuff to just have a crack at it. I, I think ideally we do need to release, I would like to release a new song maybe around October, November time. Yeah? Just because, I don't know if it will happen because I haven't written anything yet, but... Just in terms of like how a timeline should be, I, that, I think that would be good. Because actually, you did get in the habit of releasing like you know a couple of songs here and there, like yeah. outside of the album cycle. That's, it's a nice <coughs> yeah, yeah, thing exactly. to do. Yeah. yeah I so like I think it. maybe maybe before the end of the year, might try something I, like I that. I, I think that's ideally, the goal. Ideally, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ideally, we'll release a new song before the end of the year. Yeah. All right, fingers crossed, man. We'd love to hear I it. I just need to write and record it. But. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, we're at the earliest stage of that conversation. Don't but worry. That's, that's, that's the right. easy part. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's the promo. That's the hard part. Here we are now. This You're is not it. wrong. You're Here not wrong. Here we go. This is the difficult stage. Uh, guys, it's always an absolute pleasure. Genuinely, oh, have a great, thank great you. show tonight. And yeah, we'll hopefully see you again later in the yeah, year, I'm sure. So awesome. All right. Thank you very Good much. Good to see you guys. Awesome. All right. Death of Adam.